Hi guys, my name is Alethea, this is Gotcha Covered, and today I'm gonna to be giving my honest review and try on haul of Banana Republic's newest creation, Style Passport. Style Passport is Banana Republic's take on the subscription-based business model. Lots of companies are switching to some kind of subscription-based system and the clothing world is no different. I've already reviewed other rental services, including Rent the Runway and Newly. If you want to see my take on other rental subscriptions, go check those out. All right, on to Style Passport. This is by far the weirdest rental subscription I have ever used, and I want you to watch this entire video to save you a lot of confusion. First, here's a simple explanation on how it works. This subscription is $75 a month plus tax, and members get three items in each box, and according to their website, will typically receive up to three boxes per month. So that's about nine pieces of clothing to try for $75. Star Passport lets you choose from hundreds of items from Banana Republic, or do they? More on that later. Once you have at least eight items in your closet, you qualify for a box of three items at random from your closet, but Style Passport recommends that you maintain 20 plus styles to enjoy a faster turnaround time. Why? Honestly, um, I don't know. I went to their Q&A that asked that very question and it literally didn't answer it. So I guess it's just, it is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> Again, I would like to emphasize that the clothing you will receive is completely random. It depends on whether or not your clothes are available and you won't know if they are or not. So please do not plan any specific outfits from this subscription. It won't happen. And even though a lot of clothing is clearly part of a set, there's no guarantee that if you save both pieces of the set that you will get both pieces in your box. They do have a prioritize option in the closet, um, but out of both boxes I received, only one of my priorities made it to me, so I don't know how helpful that feature is. You do get to see what three pieces you'll be getting once it's shipped, but it's not like you can do anything about those items once they're on their way. To me, this feels like a mix between a styling service and a rental service because you as a consumer only have minimal power to choose what you receive in each box, which I really didn't like because I know what I like and I'm good at pairing different pieces together, but for some people, the randomness of this might be fine, but it really annoyed me. Now back to my earlier comment about how you get to choose from hundreds of items from Banana Republic. In my latest box, I looked up each item on Banana Republic's website originally to see if their sale price they were offering me was actually comparable to the retail price and um, I couldn't find a single piece. Out of the three items in my box, not one was listed on their website. Uh, I ended up finding one on Poshmark, which is a resale website. That means this item had been out long enough for Banana Republic to have it go through the full cycle of sales and clearance for someone to buy it and get tired of it and try to resell it on Poshmark. On the plus side, the deal that Style Passport was offering me was a lot better than the deal on Poshmark, so yay. Anyway, this got me to dig further, and while I found a few matches from Style Passport on Banana Republic, most of what I looked up wasn't there. And then when I went to Style Passport's new arrival, most of it was spring and summer clothes, even though it's now November. To me, this looks like Banana Republic sees Style Passport as a place to put their old inventory in order to squeeze one last cash grab out of it, instead of a fashionable option for people to get to wear their clothes on a budget. I mentioned something similar to this in my Newly review, where a lot of Newly selections was part of Anthropology, Urban Outfitters, Free People's sales section, but I feel like Style Passport is worse because the stuff that they offer isn't even available on Banana Republic at all. I have no way of knowing how old most of this clothing is, and they could be showing me clothes from five seasons ago and I would have no idea. On top of that, for the actual selection, I wasn't a fan. For the most part, Banana Republic sells basics and seasonal classic clothing with a workwear emphasis. This subscription would be great for someone who wants to supplement their work wardrobe, but if you're looking for really fashionable clothes, I would definitely look at other rental services. All right, now we'll get onto the try on part of this video. I did see some reviews that said that the clothes came with a stain or just didn't fit very well. So I'll show you what I got and then I'll wrap up with some final thoughts and advice for you guys. Let's start with the packaging. It does come in a cardboard box, which honestly is pretty disappointing. I hope the Style Passport will switch to a more sustainable option like a cloth bag in the future, just because I know a lot of people who love rental services care about sustainability. All right, let's uh, open this puppy up. <laughs> I don't know, why did I say that so awkward? <laughs> I never say that. <laughs> no, I will use my strength. My strength. Thank you. Why am I struggling? <laughs> okay, it's like holding on by one little thread. All right, here we are. 
stay inside of the box. This is how it comes. Um, nice tissue paper, really minimal packaging. I do like that it's not packed with styrofoam, so gotta give credit where credit is due, but I'm still sad about that cloth bag. Let's open up this tissue paper. Got a beautiful cable knit sweater, perfect for the fall. Good classic, which is gonna be most of what I'm showing you is a good classic, because that's pretty much all Banana Republic offers. So far, I don't see any stains. I don't think this hair was mine. <laughs> Just pulled it off the sweater. That's a little gross. Okay, I did not enjoy that. Moving on. Yes, I don't see any stains or any damage. Honestly, I can't even really tell that this has been worn before. Besides the hair, I would have no idea. Beautiful. Good job, Banana Republic. Yeah, right. Next, I got this gorgeous, stretchy, midi-length knit skirt. This is a navy blue, another cable knit style. I'm glad knits are getting the attention it deserves, especially um, right now a huge trend is a double set of knits, which is basically like getting to wear your pajamas, but for fashion. <laughs> I'm all for that. And last was this spaghetti strapped kind of zebra looking dress. This is a slip dress, which usually means it's cut on the bias, which I won't bore you with technical terms, but basically it just means that it flows and kind of looks like it's just falling over you. For the fall, I would pair this with a turtleneck underneath, usually one that coordinates with whatever slip dress that you're wearing. Since this has a lot of black in it, I would wear a black turtleneck with it. So very important thing, here is the box. There is the box that they sent me. This is what you're gonna be sending your clothes back in and it has a return label already put on there for you. Once again, I am sad because this is not sustainable. I would like to send it back in the same package that I received it in because now I have some tissue paper and some cardboard in my house that I'm probably not gonna use again. It's just gonna go in the recycling. And then this plastic bag, which they're probably gonna throw away after they reopen it. So my advice to Style Passport is get on the cloth bag train. Everyone else is doing it. Come on, everyone else is doing it, come on. Be cool. Closing thoughts for you guys. Personally, this is my least favorite rental service that I've ever tried. I think it's clunky, it's awkward. I don't like that you only get three pieces at a time. I don't like that you don't get to really have any control over what you get in your box. So I've always thought that the model of you only get a few at a time, but if you keep sending it back, you get more is really not useful for the normal person because you wanna actually wear the clothes. What I wish Style Passport would do, and I hope that they do in the future, is let you as the user get more items in each box and also let you have some more control over what you're getting in each box. Just because right now, I think it's awkward, I think it's disorganized considering you don't even know what's in stock and what's not in stock. I just think they need to put more effort and work into Style Passport and it could be something really great, especially for people who want to have more work style clothing but don't want to be shelling out a lot of money for it, especially for internships, students, this would be something really great. <laughs> Hopefully in the future I get to do an update for you guys saying, wow, Style Passport is amazing. Right now, I can't really recommend it in good faith, but you know you, you know what you need. If this sounds like something that sounds great for you, despite everything that I don't like about it, amazing, great. I'm glad I got to show you this cool rental service, but for me personally, I don't love it. Can't recommend it. I think that is pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching, especially if you got it this far. Um, if you are new here, please subscribe. I put out fashion related content uh, pretty often. <laughs> I can't really say exactly when my normal schedule is gonna be. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I put out fashion related content sometimes. See you next time.